Hello again guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to place limit orders on Redium decentralized exchange on Solana ecosystem. Yes, it's right, you can place limit orders on Solana with smart contracts in a centralized, decentralized way like the order books that you have on Binance, Bitfinex, all the exchanges that you're used to and this is super cool and this is a tutorial how to do it and how it works so if, if you want to use the limit orders on Radium, watch this video to learn how and if you have any errors and you don't know how to use it I will solve all the errors in this tutorial but before we start make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification button so anytime I post this kind of educational videos when I post them you can see it as soon as possible and learn and become DeFi masters in Solana, in Binance, in Polygon, in Ethereum with me here in Johnny Time. So Radium, if you are not familiar what it is, I have other tutorial and I also explain what is Serum and how Radium and Serum are connected. Basically, Radium is using Serum protocol in order to use a limit order, order book, centralized exchange style uh, trading platform but it's completely decentralized using smart contracts on Solana ecosystem. In this tutorial, we'll see how we can do it. And in order to place limit orders and use order books on Solana with Radium, you go to Radium and then you click here, trading, radium.io or just dex.trading.io or just click trading. And this is how the order books looks like. You can see right here on the left side, you can see the asks. This is basically people who are want, want to sell Radium, token, Radium tokens. You know what, let's change to Solana. So let's change to Sol USDC. All right, so you can see this is much more simpler. On the left side, you can see the order book. This is the asks and bids of the order book. I'm not gonna explain here what are asks and bids. I'm only assuming that you are familiar with what order books are, but I will have another tutorial about order books, how it works, what are bids, what are asks, and how what it is basically. So we can see all the ask, all the people that want to sell Solana and all the bids, all the people that want to buy Solana. You can see the price in USDC and the amount of sold that they want to sell or to buy like traditional exchanges. Here on the right side, you can see the recent market orders, all the recent trades that has been executed in this particular market on Radium. You can see the price of the trade, the amount of Solana and the time. Super simple, super straightforward. Now I have some Solana tokens in my Phantom wallet and let's say I want to sell them to USDC using limit orders on Radium. Let's see how we can do it. So I'm going to pick here sell because I have Solana and I want to sell it to USD. Okay guys, so in order to start using the limit order first, we'll have to connect to wallet. So we'll see here the connect button. I'm gonna click here connect and choose Phantom Wallet. Now the Phantom Wallet will get permissions, the, the Radium DEX, the Radium limit order will get permissions. And now we see when you see this connected, you know that the wallet is connected and you can start using the Radium exchange. Now I'm gonna sell some Solana, so I'm gonna put 0.01 Solana just for the example, and you can pick whichever price that you want. You can put even $500 even though it's quite far from the current price which is half, $250. But once the price will gather, your order will be filled and executed. So just for example, let's put $500, 0.01 sol and you can see that it will be, two, it's actually not right, there is a bug. It should be $5 but just ignore it. Let's click here, limit sell order. And guys, you can see here now that you have arrow size must be an increment of 0 0.1 so you have to put 0 0.1 sol at least and I'm going to put $500 0 0.1 and limit sell order so you can put 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 because this is how the this particular market works I'm going to put approve and Congratulations guys, you placed your first limit order on Radium Dex. Now if you want to see the order, you can see it all the time right here. If you scroll down on your open orders, you can see here is Sol USDC, sell order, 0.1 Sol and 500 USDC. You can also cancel it because now it's not been filled, but if it will be filled, you will see here on the recent trade history. Of course it won't get filled because it's somewhere here on the top on the ask in the order book and it's the very bad order because very bad offer for people because 
no one will buy now sold for 500 when you have so much supply for 250. So let's try to cancel the order. We just click here, cancel on the open orders. And of course, you send another transaction to the smart wallet, smart contracts and click approve. And you see right here, bam, the transaction has been disabled. And guys, you have to understand that once you have an open order, you cannot use this kind of 0.1 sold tokens. Only after you click here, cancel, the, the tokens are going back from the smart contacts to your wallet. So make sure that you cancel your orders if you want to use the sold tokens because they are now, when, in the, when the order is open, they are basically stored in smart contract. Now let's put a, an order that will get executed to see how it works. So we're gonna sell 0.1 soul and we're gonna pick instead of 250, 500, we're gonna put 249 uh, point, because I can see that the first bid is 2.947, so I'm gonna pick 2.94, let's put five, so the trade will get executed. And I'm gonna put a sell order, so it will be executed, because I can see right now that people are willing to buy sell for 249, 249.5, let's put this price and 0.1 sol and limit sell order and of course I will approve the transaction in my phantom wallet and the transaction has been sent and now you see how that the order is actually filled because now they will not see it here on the open orders because the order has been filled because I gave a good price that someone is willing to buy it there was a equivalent bid to my ask and in order to claim my tokens now the USDC is not in my wallet it's not like traditional exchanges when you uh, your order is executed the tokens automatically comes to your uh, account to your wallet in that case you have to scroll down and go to recent trade history okay and you have to go to balances because imagine the smart contracts need it works in a way that the tokens now are not in your wallet and in order to get the usdc tokens you need to go to balances and click here settle balance okay so if you click settle balance basically the sold solana tokens will go from the smart contract to your wallet i'm gonna click here approve and this is only when you click here settle balance you will see your tokens in your phantom wallet this is super super important so don't freak out when you don't see the tokens this is the reason actually and you can fix it by clicking here settle balance but this is basically how you can use the red room decentralized limit order book uh, exchange and if you like this tutorial and if it was useful and you learned something new check out my other videos i have so many educational DeFi tutorials subscribe to my channel and with my videos with my journey will become DeFi passive income masters thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any questions write them in the comments below i will answer to every single one of them thank you again and i appreciate that you're spending your time here watching my videos and learning with me here in journey time and i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye